Um, I'll show you a couple more things before we move on to the RPG-8. Now, I've already shown you how you can right-click here and also do the same thing underneath the Edit menu. You can randomize your pattern to give you a bunch of new steps. You can copy and paste between patterns here. But let's imagine I want to control two destinations up here with one matrix. We'll hit Tab and we can send out these curves values, like we said before, to filter one frequency. But what if you wanted to control both filter one frequency and the oscillator pitch with it? We'd need to split this signal somehow. I wish there was some kind of signal splitter for CV. <laughs> Wait, there is. Let me tab this back around, go down to the tool window, and all the way down the bottom, we have a spider CV merger and splitter. Now, if we drag that up underneath here, in fact, hold down shift as we drag it, and then flip this rack around, we could take this signal here, these curve values from our matrix, drop it in here, and then split that out to both oscillator pitch and filter one frequency. That way, these curves right here will do basically double duty. They'll both change the filter and also the pitch of oscillator one. So this means that almost any creative control uh, can be accomplished by sending that curve out of the matrix to send differing levels to almost any parameter across a whole bunch of different devices. I can't think of them all right now because they're, frankly there are a million of them. What about sending a CV connection over to the CV pan in on the back of the 14.2 mixer to create 16 different positions of pan for every step in the matrix? 